Oh, All right, hey, 13. Hi. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I am going to start with gray and white. You got it fixed up, Boop? Mm hmm Say hi to everyone. Hey, everyone. And I hope y'all are having a good night. We are starting tonight with a palette knife. And I'm going to start making my background. And this is how I'm going to start making my background. I am going to take some white paint and a little bit of black. And I'm going to mix it, mix it together just a little bit. Very little black, mostly white. And I'm going to start putting my paint down with the palette knife. Now, if you were wondering, I'm working on an 11 by 14 piece of canvas. And if you notice the picture that we're following, the background kind of makes like this, it goes kind of like at an angle there. So that's why I'm doing that the way I am. So, if you are on, tell us where you're from. We got Joan from Southwest Missouri. Hey, Joan. Thanks for coming on. Pat Miller, Ginger Post, Loretta Lindsay, and Angela Bajeron is on. Hey, how are y'all? I have a surprise for y'all tonight, and I will announce this a few times. If you share this live you will be entered into a drawing to receive one of my original textured Easter Cross shelf sitters. This is a cute little four by four. Can they see that? Okay. They can. And by the way, Angela Bajeron just asked, do you use acrylic paints? Yes, I do use acrylic paints. Ginger, we got Kathy Stiegel on. We've got Sherry McNeely from Texas, uh, Louisiana, Londa from Benton, Louisiana, and Donna LaCour says hello. Hello. Maria, Maria Whitmore's on. I'm so excited y'all are mm -hmm. here. So like I said, if you share this post tonight, right now, and just put shared in the comments. Joan has shared. Yay, you will get a chance to win this cute little 4x4 original Easter Cross shelf sitter and it will be mailed to you as soon as we choose a winner. Jim, we got Kentucky on as well. Peggy says I love the frame. Miss Gaspar says she is on. She's joined. Hey Peggy. Hey Miss Gaspar. Did you say Miss Gaspar? Is that what you said? I did. I was using my iPad, but I think my battery is too low. So, okay, so I'm using a, a combination of black and white, and the, the um, I just put a little bit of black on my, any kind of black, it doesn't matter if it's heavy body or not, but the white is a little bit of a, a thicker, it's titanium white, that's the only white that I buy, it's titanium white, and all of my paints are acrylics, and the, the texture of most of my paints that I use is almost like a sour cream texture. So you can see that right there. It's really cool. And I don't know if y'all can see my view that I have outside. But no, they can't. They, they can't, can't see, see it the view? No. Oh, we yeah. need to show them my view. I, I, can, um, I can change the phone and, and, and turn it around. Mom, we've got so many people sharing. Really? Yes. Yay. Londa has shared, Peggy has shared, Donna LaCour has shared, Pat Miller, Debbie has shared. Yes, and invite your friends to join our free Facebook group. You know how you can... Um... And yes, Joan, that is snow. And if you guys yes. can give me a second, I will change the phone around. I think I will. I have my tech guru here helping me out while I do my give me painting. Just a second, guys. I wish I could flip this. All right, so first layer. 
is done. It is palette knife put on with gray and white, mostly white. And I'm super excited about painting this one. This is actually something that I painted when I first started painting and it sold like within the first 24 hours that I posted it. Um, one of my followers bought it from me and I've missed it ever since and I'm ready to paint another one. I don't know what you call these little, do y'all know what you call these little kind of, they're, to me they're like this, those little childhood flowers, those little purple flowers that look like a little pawpaw, pawpaw, I don't know how to say, me and my country accent, we say pawpaw, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to make the outline for the tin can and it's like a little coffee cup that's laying down. So I'm going to start. And by the way, if you're in my tribe, which is the paid membership group. Are those the people with the, the, the comments that are in a different color? Do you know? Jen Weber? I know. Mm, I don't okay. know why they're in a different okay. color. Jen's on. Sherry White's on. Kathy Stiegel. I know. Joan Murphy. Man, you got a lot of people tonight, Jen. That's awesome. I'm so excited. Jen, I do want to take one comment. Make one comment. What's that? Um, if you join, guys, you are part of a group that is personal, that is friendly, and that supports one another, and it gives you access to... Uh, videos added daily, weekly. The library is, is growing and it's going to be extremely, extremely large. Uh, it's already growing and, 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 and it's going to give you an opportunity to really enjoy yourself and also to give yourself some therapy. Kathy Stigel said red clover. Oh, is that what it's called? Even though they're purple? I guess red clover. That sounds good to me. I wouldn't know. Ms. Kim Lonson's on again. Hey, Kim. Got a lot of tribe members joining tonight. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're going to start this thing called hashtag Jen's Den Art Tribe. If you are a tribe member, comment in the comments, hashtag Jen's Den Art Tribe. Now, if you are a tribe member... You notice what I'm doing here is I'm drawing. So you might be a little freaked out right now because some people always get that comment is like, I can't draw, but I, I like to paint. Okay, so what I'm going to start doing in the tribe is I am going to provide templates for y'all. Is that to... for the free and paid group, Jen? Or no, just, the, just the paid. Just the paid group, okay. Yeah. I'm going to provide free templates for y'all to be able to um, copy. And I'll actually show you how to copy the... Um... Mommy, it's 80 degrees in Texas today. Really? Yes. I'm going to show y'all how to copy the template onto your canvas. So that's coming very soon, tribe members. Just wanted to let you know. All right. Mom, I just told Kim Lonson well, to stop traveling. They're in Alabama for a week. Hopefully you're not in crowded areas. That's all I have to say. Hey, what a blessing is this online group that we don't have to worry about being in crowded areas these days. That's right. With everything going on. So just, just heads up, gals, when you do share the hashtag, make sure you put everything together. The hashtag, the Jen's Den Art Tribe, no spaces. Right. And so Anna it has shared it. Thank you, Anna Smith. That is awesome. Yes. So I will tell you again for those that do we have new ones that just came on. Yes. Okay. So if you share tonight, everyone that shares will have an opportunity to win this original... Um, four by four shelf sitter that is originally painted by me and it's textured 
this little Easter cross. So if you share tonight, you get a chance to win this. Nice. And when will they find out if they won, Jen? Tomorrow. Okay. Or maybe tonight. We'll see. If I have enough time to, to compile everybody's shared information, you know, mm -hmm. it takes a little while to do that. I really okay. need to change that phone around so people can see the view. Yeah. It's beautiful right now. So, guys, just hang on for a second. It's going to get dizzy. Mama, don't paint. Okay. Yes. There's the view that you guys are missing. <laughs> I promise you, I will give you this view next time that we do a free video. That's what Jen sees every single day when she's painting from her art studio. Yes. It's a, literally a dream come true. That's right. Thank you for trying though, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I have gray paint and a little bit of white, and I am starting on my tin can. So most of the tin can is gonna be gray, and I'm still doing a lot of palette, palette knife work tonight. If you've never painted with a palette knife, it is so much fun. It causes a complete different texture than regular paintbrush, and it's more of what I consider a, a country vibe when you paint with a palette knife. And it's very, very free. We are not a group where we work on detail because, you know, detail will take you months and months to paint a painting. But we can paint this painting in about an hour, a little longer than an hour. And these loose paintings like this are very, very popular. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm laying it on pretty thick, y'all. This paint is, uh, has got some texture to it. And Jen, just let you know, I got your face in it now. So. Oh, do you? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> You're so sweet, Michael. <laughs> So, if you didn't know, I am Ginger, and I teach women, or men, or whoever wants to join my tribe, how to paint using acrylics, and my husband, Michael, comes on live with me um, once a week in our tribe, and once a week in our free Facebook group, which is what we're in right now, and um, Michael is a licensed therapist at the local VA here in Montana, which is um, our new home away from home. We're originally from Louisiana, and um, we are now Montanians. Montanians, and so we are here. Um, I'm a retired, 25-year retired teacher turned entrepreneur where now I work from home and I teach women how to paint or men like I said I just haven't had any men yet join the group and we paint using acrylics I come from a family of very artistic um, career oriented people and so now that I am retired I have taken up the artistic abilities as well Always had them, just never practiced them. And um, now I am living in my dream painting with you guys. So now I'm using a little darker color because I'm inside the cup. So <laughs> I now posted a comment that says, Hi, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. <laughs> <laughs> And Marsha, of course, says, wow, beautiful scenery. Thank you, Marsha, for saying that. We got some West Texas people here and some Minnesota people here. It's just wonderful. Do you know why I now said hi, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha? Well, I was with you last night when you made that comment. So, yes, the Brady Bunch. Yeah. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. So, last night we were in the tribe painting, our, our bird nest painting. And uh, when Marsha came on, I was like, I just have to say, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. <laughs> and Marsha, bless her heart, 
was said, I have never heard that before. And then she, oh, went, no, okay. no, she winked. She had. She oh, okay, winked. okay. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> That's funny. By the way, Marsh is a top fan of ours, as, as Kim Malonson is. And so we really appreciate that. I have so much fun when we come on these lives. Kathy Stiegel is also a top fan. Really appreciate her. Yeah, Kathy's been around. Thank you, Kathy. All of them have been around. Y'all have been great. There's some people with some good hearts and uh, wanting to share. That's all. Awesome. How's the view in the, not the view outside. We know what that view looks like, but how's the view of the painting so far? Deborah says, what are you painting? Oh, let me show you. So it's a tin can. It's like an old tin can with a bunch of flowers in it and then an old tin coffee cup with the flowers kind of hanging out of it. And don't pay attention to the colors. My printer, for some reason, is, is printing everything in purple and pink. And so I guess I need um, to clean my printer. And it is also, the, the original picture is also in the... Um, in the Facebook group, so you can see it there. I just want to remind everyone, you get this painting plus many more added weekly and monthly. Once you're a paid member, you can access these videos 24-7, 365 days a year. Yep. As long as you're a paid member, you have access to all of the videos. We do four a month. They are all pre-recorded and edited videos, so you have my undivided attention. I'm not answering questions or anything like that. I'm just basically showing <clears throat> you how to paint in uh, detail. And the, the camera is zoomed in on the painting only, and then I show you how to mix the colors and all that good stuff. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of making an outline layer with the edge of the palette knife and I'm going, I'm dipping in the edge of the palette knife with the black. And so I'm kind of just touching the canvas, just touching, mm. touching, touching, touching. And we open the doors again on April 1st. Um, I have gotten a really big um, response and asking to join. It's $29 a month. Once you get in, you will never, the price will never go up for you. Which, by the way, is a great value because you're getting fine art painting, not Oops, cartoon painting, painting or anything of that nature. You're getting fine art painting that you can access Anytime you want. Yeah, I like to paint more on the fine art side than I do the cartoony side. So that's just something to keep into consideration. All right, so lots of grays and lots of whites and a little bit of black is the only colors that I've used so far. And um, honestly, the only other colors I'm going to be using tonight is going to be our, like our kind of like our purplish and our green. So right here, I'm just adding a little bit of shadow. Mama Wilson's back on with us again. Hey, Wilson. Glad you came back. Now remember, let me, let me. Say it again, we have a special tonight. If you share this live video, you will get a chance to win this four by four shelf sitter, which normally sells Bring for it down, Jen. a little bit over here. There you go. This um, four by four shelf sitter, which normally sells for $25 on my online store and at Revival Art House. I sell my art in a an art store. Um, you will have a chance to win this tonight if you share this video. Okay, put that thing down. Okay. The picture. <laughs> I know, I was just like getting all mesmerized by the painting. Okay, so, so far we have our tin can 
and our coffee mug I laying like down. The huh? I like it. That's the shadow of the can. Mm -hmm. I like that. All right, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go with, now remember, we always go with the furthest away and then we work our way forward. So the first thing we did was our background. And the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna come back and do some more, it looks like I need to do some more highlights up here too. Uh, I mean, uh, shadows here too. So now we're gonna go to our leaves. And I'm putting some green paint on my palette now. And I am going to show you how to do your leaves. So I'm using a flat brush. Um, it says a number three, but the numbers don't really matter. This looks like about a half inch brush. It's a flat brush. I'm gonna go into my green paint and it's basically just a olive green or a grass green. Load my paintbrush. Really, can you see that? Load my paintbrush with a lot of paint. It's a delay. Could you see it though, eventually? Or yes. no, it's still not? Okay, because my iPad. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, my Ooh, iPad died. Good picture. Okay, so. Mom, real quick, I now said, are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I now thank you. She said, I went to Revival Art House, which is in Ponchatoula, Louisiana. Yes. And saw Jen's Den's work, and Inel says, beautiful. Mm. So we are being blessed by our members. Inel is a member of the Jen's Den Art Tribe. We thank you so much. And that's what you get when you join the Art Tribe. You get uh, a connection with others that have the like-minded toward God, toward uh, faith, and toward believing that uh, we can make this world a better place by loving on one another. Absolutely. Thank you, Inel. I actually have another box sitting in my room down here that I need to um, ship off to Revival. They have been so wonderful to me. I love them so much. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm using the side of the paintbrush. It's a thin paintbrush, so I'm going from the side so that I kind of have like a point, and then I press down to make the leaf thick and then I pick up. Hmm. You see how it makes? That's neat. Yeah. And I'm only using green right now and the reason why I'm only using green is because my paint behind here is still wet so it's picking up some of the some of the gray and the white colors as well. Jen Marcy, like top fan, is on it. She said, I made it here, yay. <laughs> Yay, Marcy! Glad you're here. Uh -huh. We're having a paint party. Come on and join us. So we're just making some leaves right now. I'm not sure if I'm making enough, and I'm not sure if I'm making enough to like cover the background, but we're going to all figure it out in just a little bit. Because... We're going to start putting our flowers in here in just a minute. So if you're just coming on, tell us where you're from and stick around because I have a special surprise for y'all. If you share this video, I'm giving away one of my original little shelf sitters. So stick around and make sure you share. And I'll show you one more time if you haven't seen it. It's a little Easter cross um, textured 4x4 four four shelf sitter that's on wood. And the background is like a mint green background with some little um, Easter lilies underneath. So I would really appreciate you sharing this video and spreading the word that we are open again to take members into our tribe on April 1st. Okay, so I'm not really 
concerned about making leaves back here as I am to just kind of cover some area because I'm going to be putting flowers on top of this. And um, I want it to look like it's pretty full. So I'm just adding a little bit more green. We got someone from Michigan with us tonight. That's Marcy. Hey, Marcy from mm -hmm. Michigan. Man, Michigan, they get a lot of cold weather yes, too. Yes, they huh? do. And yeah. Wisconsin. We got someone from Wisconsin yeah. in here. We're new to the cold weather, y'all. So, um, yeah, it's still kind of a shock to us that we're still having snow in, uh, what is this, March? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're used to being outside in, in 80 degree weather in March, planting our garden and planting our flowers. So, uh, we're both originally from Louisiana, born and raised our 49 years of our life. And here we are now in the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful state of Montana and um, learning how to deal with the beautiful snow that we get. By the way, Marsha's from Tennessee, five minutes from Alabama. Oh, and cool. so Londa says, how long have y'all been there? So Londa, we, we moved here in September, so we've been living here, um, what, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, so seven months, seven and a half months. And Diana yeah. Benoit just joined in. Hey, Diana. Thanks for coming on. Remember, if you share this video, you get a chance to win this cute little Easter cross shelf sitter. That's right. Four by four. All right, so now we're going into the flowers. And I am going to use a small brush. This is, um, do not even know what number it is, but can you see what size that is? Can they see that? Uh, let me see. All right, so we're going into some purple. And that purple that I have here is like way, way, it's a deep, deep purple. Let me show you what I just picked up. I picked up a Liquitex, it's called Dioc Dioxazine Purple. It's a violet and it's way too dark, but it's the only purple I have here. Um, let me look again. You can always mix red and blue. Oh look, here's another purple. Yay, I Got do have Judy another purple. Tennessee by the way. Okay, so this is a, hey Judy, thanks so much for coming on. Um, this is a light lavender folk art, so that might work as well. Let's try that. All right, so I have a light lavender and I have a really, really, really dark purple. And then of course I have my white. So these are my three primary colors that I'm working with right now. And I'm putting on my brush I am not mixing, I'm just kind of dabbing a little bit of all three on my brush. And I'm gonna start up here and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just dab, dab, dab. And I'm gonna kind of make like a, a I'm gonna call it a a, a pom pom, like a like a cheerleader pom pom. I thought you were saying pawn pawn. No, a pom pom. Like P O M P O M. Yeah. A pom pom. Now what makes this difficult is because my green paint is still wet. So it's a little more difficult to put these layers on here. But I'm gonna try. Okay, and so I'm just going to continue to do this in different directions. And I'm basically just dabbing. Loretta says, too far away, can't see the flower. 
So let me uh let me try to get you a little bit closer. I think you can zoom in from where you are. Yep, I can. So hang on, guys. Thank you, uh, what was it, Moretta? Loretta. Moretta. Moretta. How's that? Is that better? So should you let the grain dry before doing the flowers? Normally, yes, but because we're live, I'm just kind of having to improvise. And if you're following along, you might want to take a, um, maybe a hair dryer, which mine is upstairs because I had to dry my hair this morning. I guess I need to buy me another hair dryer, huh? Marissa says it is better. Thank you. So I did zoom in. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So... So here's my thought here for this. I'm just, I'm starting off at kind of like an angle with, and I'm, I'm going like two, I'll show you right here so you can see better. So I'm going one at the top and then two on the side. And notice I'm just dipping into, this is a deep purple. This is a light purple, and then this is a white, and I'm just kind of mixing that up a little bit. So I'm going one in the middle, and then two on the side. One in the middle, and two on the side. I'm making some little commas, and then I'm going back through, and just making some little commas like that. I like that you're doing this. Yeah. That this is a, because those flowers are pretty small to see, yeah. and so it's good. And it's, it's hard with that wet paint underneath to make them, like, I might have to come back later in a couple of hours and redo these flowers because it's so wet on, you know, it's like wet on wet right now. Okay, I'm going to make one this way. I want him to kind of face over there. So what are these flowers called again? I don't remember. Um, who said that? Green Red something. something. Red something. So tell us what your week has been like because today's Thursday and tomorrow's the wonderful Friday. Marsh also thanked us because when you were able to bring it up closer to the camera, yeah, they were able to see. Good. So guys, we certainly encourage any comments that can help you and the group and help us provide for you the way that you need to be provided for. Absolutely. That's what we're here for. My purpose is to create a community because, you know, I was, a, I was a teacher for 25 years in the public school system in Louisiana. And hi, hyacinth? Hyacinth? Yeah. That kind of, that sounds right. Who said that? What are you talking about? Oh, Joan. Joan. Yeah, I think, Joan, you might be right. It reminds me of my childhood, you know those wildflowers you would pick as a child? That's the kind of flowers I'm going for. And you just have to keep on making them. Just some little commas. Isn't it cute? Mm -hmm. It just kind of makes, I mean, if you want to even put some, like, coming out here. It's totally up to you. And if you don't like purple and you want your flowers to be pink or yellow or whatever color you want them, I just, I love purple. Maybe it's because I'm an LSU alum. And purple and gold are our alma mater colors. But I don't know. I just love purple. And I use purple in a lot of my paintings. So 
So I was asking a question to everybody, and I forgot what I was saying. Do you remember what I was saying, Michael? I don't. Doggone it. Doggone it. So we just got word from, not that we have, um, my son attends, my younger son attends a university in Louisiana called UL Lafayette Raging Cajuns. And um, his neighboring university, LSUA, they have just closed their school down for two weeks. I'm not sure why. And their graduation students... Uh, that are graduating in May or um, not allowed to go to have a graduation ceremony. So I know there's a lot of things going on right now that are heavy on our, our minds when it comes to this uh, coronavirus. But I just want to say what a great opportunity for us to have each other and be online and not have to be in a large environment. You know, us creatives, we're like, heck yeah, let's stay home and create and, you know, and work by ourselves. I know I'm like that. I love being by myself working on things so how do y'all feel about that i now did confirm that lsu and slu were doing online classes because of the virus slu is doing it too wow mm -hmm. okay well what a great opportunity for us to have this community to come online and not have to worry about those kind of things and Wilson says, it's like the apocalypse out there. The stores are crazy. Mm -hmm. And you know, Wilson, they are. However, here in Montana, which we don't have any confirmed cases yet, uh, it was a, it's normal shopping yep. so far. But there's only one million people in this entire state. So Right. Um, I went to the grocery store today, and they were not. The only thing that they are out of is um, hand sanitizer. And Lysol, right? Um. They had a few a few cans of uh, disinfectant, Lysol disinfectant, but the only thing you couldn't find is hand sanitizer. Um, water was plentiful. Um, every everything else was very plentiful, so I was very shocked because you know if you spend like I spend most of my days, I only go to the grocery store like once every two weeks, and um, we live thirty five miles from town, so most of my interaction with the rest of the world is through the media. And so if, you know, you pay attention to the media, you know, they're out of everything in all these stores and stuff. So I was expecting to go today thinking, okay, I'm not going to be able to get much stuff. Let me just, you know, stock up. Because we have a, a snowstorm coming as well. And, um, you know, let me just stock up and let me just pray that I can get the essentials for us, you know. And I was like, oh, there's nobody in the store. We are, I don't know, I kind of feel like we're in an area where maybe people are not taking it really serious or we feel safe here. I don't know. It's Joan just tells weird. us that there's no toilet paper, Lysol, and wipes at Walmart in her little town. And Wilson also said the shelves are empty of toilet paper, sanitizer, bleach, and soaps. Okay, we had, we, that's crazy. What towns are these? Because we have, I had Lysol, we had Clorox on the shelves. Toilet paper we had, too? Yeah, toilet paper was very plentiful. Actually, I picked up two packs of toilet paper and the whole shelf was full. Wilson says they can't even buy toilet paper on Amazon until April 14th. No way. Y'all. By the okay. way, Vanderbilt and North Kentucky University are online. Well, if, if y'all need toilet paper, let me know. I'll see you some. <laughs> really? I don't know. I mean, I feel bad for everybody else. Wow. There was plenty. Maybe Okay, maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> and 
And Wilson lives in the south suburbs of Chicago. Oh, oh, ah, Chicago. Wilson, my best friend, our best friends, husband and wife, live in Chicago. And my niece lives in Chicago. So, yeah, we have a connection there. My niece works at PepsiCo, but I think she works a lot from home. She has her doctorate degree in nutrition, and she works for, the, like, the nutritional side of PepsiCo. And um, my best friend is a, um, she works for a health company. And her husband works, I don't, I don't know who he works for, but they deal with apartment complexes, whatever he does. So we haven't been there yet because both of them have just moved there within the last year. But we plan on going visit Chicago pretty soon. Okay, I feel like this needs to be a little bigger. So I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to go out a little bit more. Are y'all okay with that? Marcy says, I love to knit, crochet, sew, and make my own greeting cards, embroider, so I can be in my home with my husband forever and be happy. What's that say about me? I says, it means that you are very content. Yes. Do you know, I'm, I'm trying to show y'all how I'm making these little flower buds. You know, I'm the same way. Who said that, Marcy? Mm -hmm. I am the same exact way. If I did not have to go to the grocery store, nobody would ever see me. And Wilson says, when you come down... Come, come to Chicago. Maybe you can, uh, you, maybe you can hook up downtown. Absolutely, that would be awesome. We would love that. I'm so excited already. So I'm just making. So I some love more. this painting. Isn't it beautiful? Mm-hmm. You never know what you can do until you try it. And this is basically, it's just, it's time consuming what I'm doing, but I'm just making little, little commas with the little purple paint here. And I'm going to come back and fill it in a little more with some uh, greenery. And I'm getting close to the end of the painting. So if you guys have any questions about anything, remember we come on every Thursday night and we open our tribe back up on April 1st. We are giving away a free shelf sitter tonight if you share this post and I want to say that's about it baby what do you think I think that this is a beautiful painting I love how it's the you know you know how I am with colors mm -hmm. how it's black and white or, or the dark cans with the vibrant colors of flowers mm -hmm. I love it and so what I'm doing right now is I'm just coming back in and I am adding some details and I'm making some of my um, my leaves come out a little bit. Now remember, this is a really loose painting. We're not going for, for major details. So watch what I'm doing here. I'm making some little areas that Come out like that, just to kind of fill up the the flowers. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. So they're not like laying out there by themselves. <laughs> Joan said this is giving her spring fever. Yeah, isn't it? It's so cute. So I'm also going Marcy says, to. Love it. Thank you. 
Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for coming on. I'm going to make a little bit more of a shadowy area to just to add a little bit of depth here. And this is just a dark gray and black. And I'm just using a paintbrush. Sherry says beautiful. I agree. Thank you, Sherry. Thank Sherry you so McNeil. much. Y'all are so sweet. And I'm so glad that I started doing this for everybody because it has just been overwhelming. I am adding over 100 people a week to this free Facebook group. So it, it's... I'm just, I'm just so excited about well, it's it. It's definitely a blessing. Yes, absolutely. So, yeah, that's about it. What do y'all think? Love Let me it. see. How did, can they see it from right here? So, hang on. Let me see. Because, you know, it's kind of a delay. Mm-hmm. So remember, we will be live again next Thursday in the group and post your paintings in the group Beautiful. and let us see what you come up with when you paint this. And you don't have to just post your painting. You can also post a picture of you standing with your painting, which would be a great way for us to learn our faces and get to know each other even better. And remember, once you become a paid member, you will have these videos forever. Yes. To access at any time, start and stop, and for a very good price as opposed to uh, the expensive prices that you find out there. Uh, and you also get a personal touch. We like to share our faith. We like to share God, and we like to ensure that people get prayed for and they get blessed. So yes, thank you. absolutely. So thank you so much. Can you see me? Mm-hmm. So thank you so much for being here tonight, and we hope you have a great night, and we will see you again next time in Jen's Den Art Fun Group. Bye. Y'all have a good night. Bye, guys. Bye. Let me turn this off. It's a beautiful painting. Isn't it pretty? Yes.